How you doing, CJ? I still got the chills, mom. You know, I better take your temperature. Remember, the lady at the clinic says that I need to monitor your temperature and I need to take you in in case you have troubles breathing. I, I can breathe? Hmm. Wait, CJ, you make that call? What call? You know what call. Well, baby, I ain't trying to call them people, you know. We've been over this, okay? You have to call the hotline and tell the people that you're feeling sick. I could be all right. That's not the point. You probably have COVID. And the whole world gotta know that? That's my business. CJ, it's not about you, okay? We have to call in so we can at least figure out where you may have gotten it from and who you may have passed it on to, all right? But besides us, of course, because well, we live with you. <coughs> Karen, they can figure it out, you know. I mean, I know what the people say do. I stay in home, I stay in my room. What more you want? CJ, you only been sick for about three days now. What, what about all the times you wasn't feeling bad? When you was up and down the place hailing your family, hailing your friends? Now, I, I remember you been to the bar, what, at least twice, all right? So let's say somebody you've been there with get it. And then they give it to their old mommy or their old daddy. And then that old man or that old woman gets sick and dies. Now, do you really want that on your conscience? Seriously, Karen? No, why you gotta put it like that? How else you want me to put it? Man, CJ, we gotta come forward and, and tell people where we've been and who we've been with. That's the only way we're gonna stop this thing from spreading and taking lives. We don't have a cure for this, you know, or you forget. I ain't gonna die, you know. Well, I hope not. But, but what about the people who have cancer or diabetes or high blood pressure or what about the people who just really old man cj you need a man up get over yourself and make that call 